Hi, this is Dustbox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Death Knights of Kryn. Yeah, we're looking at the area map of Sekos. This building right here is where we met Igor, and in the building just north, um, we were offered some hospitality by local residents, but Igor warned us not to try it, and it turned out there were a bunch of CVAX and a evil magic user inside there. So let's get out of area mode because I like to see what I'm moving through. And now we're moving. Well, we can just leave this building again. A group of children are playing. When they see you, they run away. What's in this house? You may rest here safely. Oh, Igorf isn't here? Maybe they didn't notice Igorf? Now that's interesting. Igorf was with me. And according to the clue book, it says that this building, they won't let me rest if Igor is present. Okay, well, okay, and the children run away. And Igor, yeah, Igor is still with us. Okay, so let's see what else there is to explore here. Ah, yeah, let's go due east here. Okay, this is should be the town hall here. You see two guards in a fist fight. A crowd cheers them on. What do you do? Do you join the fight? Do you sneak past or do you leave? Let's try sneaking past. The crowd notices you. They're Civex! They attack! Okay, yeah, we don't get the little combat theme music for every battle, apparently just for some of the most important ones. Okay, it's just the one group, just Civex, no magic users. If this doesn't work, we'll pick up from our last save and make sure we have protective spells in place before we get into this. Because, of course, went into this with nothing active. Yeah, no special immunities to 
weapons, but magic resistant. Multiple attacks. But no special attacks. And we do get, do get to control Igarf, which is pretty cool. Of course, it might have been a big mistake to rush forward and engage the Civax at melee quite this quickly. So we'll have to think about whether we want to do that or not if we have to redo this battle. Yeah. Might also want to consider whether strategically placing myself, say, across a doorway so that fewer of them can attack at once might be a good idea. Hope I don't get Igor filled off. He is pretty cool. It is so hard to get to hit those civics. I wonder if it would be worth casting haste on ourselves. Kind of hate doing that if I. Unless I really have to, because it does age your characters one year each time it's used. Which isn't that big a deal for Danny or Viserys or even Arya, but it is a problem for the humans in the party. Well, at least we're starting to make some progress knocking off those Civax.
Oh, okay. Let's try this way, maybe. Basically, the idea is you do not break contact with whoever you were in contact with. But at least now Igor's in melee range with four of the remaining save eggs, so. He'll have stuff to keep him busy. <clears throat> Yeah, I think, fortunately, Ig Igorf does heal himself in between battles. Ouch. No, we're not attacking the ally. Good, the Civacs are finally starting to surrender. I sure hope I Igor can heal himself after this battle. A gold chain around Igor's neck glows, and he reverts to human form. Okay, let's... Well... Okay, I think this looks a little too big to safely rest in. I'm going to retreat back to Igor's house.
Okay, yeah, no. Okay, so let's... Okay, it's morning again now. But I think there might be something in that room that room we could just see the door of down at the end of the town hall. This time, let's save before we go into here. After we answer the copy protection question. Oh, yeah. Page 9 of the rule book. Right, one, two, three, four, five. Surfaces. Okay. Let's go through that door now. Civacs are gathered round a table. They attack. Okay, and let's see just how many civacs we're up against. C7 here. Oh, a ton, a ton, a ton of them. Well, you know, since we're this far back, and Danny can't move forward anyway, let's just see if a fireball might work. Yeah. Kicks and giggles at least. Oh, hey. Magic resistant doesn't mean magic proof. Oh, that is working so beautifully. Yeah, John does have that long sword against versus red file, so that should help. Okay, we're going to have Igor try casting Fireball, since that did seem to help. But since we did have fellow party members... Oh, wow, look at that. Tons and tons of damage. Okay. I think surely there can't be that many civics left. Just the one. Okay. Would magic missile work? Actually, it does. Woohoo! A gold chain around Igor. Yeah. A silver key lies on the table. You pick it up. Well, that could be useful. Okay, let's see if we can rest here. Don't know if we can, but hey, we did. 
Yay. Well, that was a lot quicker <laughs> last battle. Okay, let's get out of here now. Right, then let's try. Yeah, that's where we ran into the beggar before. Now this should be a tavern. The patrons of the tavern eye you suspiciously. What do you do? Stay. Would you like something to drink? Um, no thank you. Sure you don't want a drink? No, we don't. Oh, crap. He tells you about treasure hunters. This is recorded as journal entry 59. I didn't mean to have a drink at all. I'm glad we found out something. Strangers have been coming to this town for years, the bartender says, pouring a glass for an impatient customer. Most of them come see the magic, but some had heard about the treasure some dragon or dragons hid in this town long ago. Since we no longer practice magic in Sekos, I suppose you're here to find the treasure. Princess came here looking for the same thing a few weeks ago, but I'm sure the town guards chased her out of town already. No one's found the treasure, or if they have, they haven't lived to enjoy it. You're always free to tell me how close you came to finding it. I've heard every story there is. Okay, well, it doesn't sound like we took any ill effects from the one drink we had. Then the building just south of here... Should be an inn. Don't know if it's safe to stay there yet, but an inn nevertheless. Looks like no one stayed at this inn for a long time. We have no rooms available. Please leave. Okay. I mean, we could rest in other buildings. So, yeah, I mean, we don't have to stay. And we leave. And we can always come back here after we've liberated the town. And there is that building. Here. How can I help you? Okay, just non-magical stuff for now. Let's talk. This town's very strange. I'm new here, and everyone's always so frightened and secretive. Except the town bum who tells a strange tale. Okay. Well, maybe she'll have other stuff to sell after we finish getting the t rid of the town guards. So... We'll see you then.